Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Choose Only One video and we are focusing on subcompact, single stack, 9mm handguns. These used to be the hottest thing in the CCW market, is it still? I don't know, we have to wait for the feedback to come in to establish that answer. The last Choose Only One video focused on revolvers and by and large, the majority of the vote went to the Colt Python. People love the Python. They love the, the, the large 357 Magnum and the history behind it. However, I have to say the Taurus Defender 856 Ultralight also received a lot of votes and then the others got their fair share as well. But today, single stack, subcompact, 9 millimeters. so let's get to it. Let's start right here with the car, PM9. Very nice handgun, small, lightweight, 0.9 inches wide, 3.1 inch barrel, tritium night sights, comes with two six round mags and a seven round mag. A lot of people pocket carry this, the build quality is very nice. Six and a half pound trigger pull with a full reset, it's double action only. But a fine shooting handgun. It has always performed well. I've run a variety of ammo through it, and the Car PM9 gets the job done. Very lightweight and thin, under 20 ounces, loaded with seven rounds. Here we have a Bursa BP9CC. Comes with two eight round mags. It has an ambidextrous magazine release, a 3.3 inch barrel, loaded chamber indicator bar, three dot sights, an accessory rail but it also has a magazine disconnect so it will not fire without the magazine inserted but once inserted the trigger is very light we're looking at four pound trigger pull with a very short reset right there a lot of people love this gun they love the price and they love that very lightweight trigger here we have the Springfield Armory XDS Mod 2 OSP Optical Sight Pistol. Currently has a Crimson Trace CTS 1500 installed. It has seven and nine round mags included, along with an ambidextrous magazine release. It has a loaded chamber indicator bar and a grip safety. It forces a high grip on the pistol and Keeps it a little safer for pocket carry. That has to be engaged in order for the trigger to pull. But the trigger itself with a trigger bar safety in there measures right around 6 pounds with a reset right there. Accurate shooter, reliable shooter, and I like the options. You can add the cover plate or put an optic on there. It makes it very nice. Representing Walther is the CCP M2. If you like the PPS, say you like the Walther PPS better, but this is what I have to show. It is a single stack 9mm handgun with 8 round mags. They call this a soft coil. It has a very light recoil spring and it has a delayed blowback gas system, which softens the shot quite a bit. Thumb safety right there, a Cerakoted slide, 3.5 inch barrel, full pick rail, front serrations, cocked striker fire indicator and a trigger that I am measuring at four and a half pounds with just about a full reset. Nice shooting handgun, has the cross directional texturing that I certainly like, great ergonomics. The CCP M2 much improved over the original CCP. This is the Diamondback DB9 Gen 4. Very small and lightweight, smallest one out here and it weighs in loaded with seven rounds 16 and an eighth ounce, so that is extremely light. Pocket carriers will dig this. Six plus one, extended base plate on that mag. Forward serrations, three dot sights with an orange insert right there, 3.1 inch barrel. They changed the grip texturing with the Gen 4 model, makes it pretty nice, but the trigger measures right around seven pounds. I think they did that intentionally for pocket carry, keep it a little bit safer there, but they shortened the reset right there. The DB9 Gen 4, very small and lightweight 9mm pistol that's actually plus P rated. This is an M&P shield, a lot of people know and understand this one. 
It's a Gen 1. I've had it for a long time. Smith & Wesson really expanded on the shield line. A lot of people like the newer models. It's actually a staggered stack mag, but we'll go with it in this review close enough. 8 round mag and also comes with a 7 round mag. 3.1 inch barrel, 3 dot sights, and a hinged trigger that breaks right around 6 and a quarter pounds with a reset right there. I mentioned I, I've had it for a while. It's performed very well for me. I have no complaints with the original M&P Shield. A lot of people like that, that thin grip, and it's offered right here. So which of these single stack, subcompact, 9mm handguns do you feel works best for you? Or one that I missed. I'll certainly read all the comments and talk about it with the next Choose Only One video. I look forward to the feedback. I'm having a lot of fun with this series. I hope you enjoy it, and be sure to choose only one. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.